so I have my 8 inches. It's a little bit short from 8 inches, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just a dishcloth. Um, you can measure it using whatever you have in your house. If you have a uh, construction measuring tape or a ruler or even, um, this is not a super accurate way of measuring, but from here to here, measure that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, mine's a little bit longer than an inch, but you get the gist. Or you can also just fold this corner to this corner and see if they're fairly even. So you kind of want it to be a square shape. So that's where I'm at. But now we're going to bind off. And if you're wondering, yes, I did knit this all using the pencils. So it is possible. Yours may not look exactly like mine, especially if you're first starting out. Um, it may have parts that are a little bit looser, some parts that are a little bit tighter, and that just has to do with tension. You're not doing anything wrong. It just comes with practice. So sometimes um, you'll get stressed, and so you'll knit tighter, and it'll go, it'll pucker in a little bit, and it'll come in a little bit and out as you loosen up and you're knitting looser. So with practice, that comes. I even still have issues with that, um, but like you, it's not going to look exactly like this, and that's okay. If it does, good job. Um, you're doing great, because this happened after lots and lots of practice, you guys. And that's the thing with knitting, as well as any other hobby, you know, practice. So, now let's bind off. So, I have my left needle right here and my right needle right here so you're going to and your yarn is on the right again so I've turned so I'm going to stick my needle in and go as if I'm going to just do a knit row so I'm gonna knit two stitches so one two so now I have two stitches on my right hand needle now I'm gonna take my left needle skip the first stitch on my right needle come to the second stitch like so and I'm gonna just come in from front to front just slide it on there okay then I'm going to pull it over the other stitch I have on my right needle like that so I'll show you again and this time I'll do continental so wrap around my pinky under my two fingers over my index finger Okay, so I'm going to knit one more. So I have two on this needle. I'm going to take my left needle, come from front to front, and I'm just going to pull it over that other stitch on my right needle. And that's another one bound off. So again, I'm going to knit a stitch, take my left needle, and pull the furthest stitch over the closest stitch. Okay, one more time, knit one stitch, stick it from front to front, passing over this first one, like so. And you just do that all the way down and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so now I just am going to knit this last stitch and pass it over, pass the one over that stitch. So now I have one stitch or one loop left on my needles. So I'm going to grab my scissors, I'm going to cut it, leaving a little bit of a tail, and there. And then I'm going to take this needle out, make the loop big, and then just pull that tail through to fasten it off like that. And that is how you bind off. So now that we've bound off, we have these two tails, one from casting on and one from binding off. If you tied a ribbon, go ahead and take that ribbon out. And now we're going to grab the darning needle and weave in our ends. So here's my darning needle. Um, I'm going to take the yarn, stick it through the eye of it, 
And then I'm just going to take it and weave it through just different stitches. So just weaving it in through different stitches. Um, a good rule of thumb is to go in three separate directions. Um, some people say, you know, make a J shape or a U shape. So that's what I'm going to do right here. Okay. Now I've done that and I'll grab my scissors again and just snip it. Let's see. Snip. And then we'll do the same thing with the other one. And now we have our basic knit dishcloth. If you like the width of this, you can, instead of stopping at 8 inches, you can go for like 100 inches and make yourself a scarf. So really, the possibilities are endless. The skills that you learned here are easily transferable to make anything. You could also cast on more stitches and knit up further and make yourself a blanket or a baby blanket or anything like that. See you next time. I hope you enjoyed the class and have a wonderful day.